Hello, everyone. My name is Anna Nkialu, and I am a figurative visual artist based here in Dar es Salaam, and I have a shared studio at Nafasi Art Space. And I'm sure you'll learn more about me through my speech, Dare to be Different. Have you ever thought that being different is the only thing that could elevate you? Well, to some, this may be hard to understand because many people would want to be like everybody else and do things that everybody else do and blend in like a puppy on the rug in the left photo. But when I say be different, I simply mean to stand out and to do things that you once wouldn't dare to do. When I was very young, about four or five years old, I remember I wanted to be a police officer. It was because I liked the cool look the police had and the fact that everybody seemed to respect them. As I grew older, my dreams changed from wanting to be a police officer to wanting to be a soldier. The younger me thought it surpassed the cool look of the cop at that time. But when I reached in high school, my grades determined my future. So because I was good in science, I thought the right option was aiming at a doctor or a nurse career. In the university, I ended up taking education degree course to become a teacher because I was told apparently that teaching is the best job in the world. You see, both my parents were teachers that made it a much safer option. Never once did I ever think of becoming an artist I am today. And you may ask me why, because since I was a little girl, I used to sketch around and draw on our family home's walls, and my dad would be really mad. But that never stopped me from drawing and sketching. Even the time when I had the dream of becoming a cop, I also were sketching. But it was because being an artist is not something respectable where I come from. It's not something people look with admiration. It's not something parents want for their children. It's not something highly encouraged at school. I even remember being punished at school for doing art. And my teachers would tell me, why are you wasting time doing art instead of studying? It was not till when I was in university and I used to sketch around as usual while studying education degree course. And I would post my sketches in social media. And somebody saw my sketches and he told me, would you sketch me and I will reward you at the end. But I thought it was a joke because at that time nobody had ever paid me for doing art. So I said, okay, let me just do it because I have nothing to lose and I sketched. Take a moment and imagine the surprise I had after I got paid a lot of money for doing a simple sketch. That's when I realized, ah, art is very precious, and I can actually pursue it as my career. And at that time, I used to sketch with the pen, and I trained myself, and I become better at it. But I thought, I want to become a great, notable artist. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and even the most famous Tanzanian painter, Tanzanian artist Edward Tingatinga were painters. So I said, I too am going to paint. So that's when I packed my bags and I moved to Zanzibar, where I joined other artists and I started learning to paint. It was in Zanzibar that I met a great artist who eventually became my mentor, Mr. Ausi. Well, Mr. Ausi would, would ask me questions like, 
Would you, Anna, want to become an artist or would you want to become a businessman? I even remember his reaction when he saw my ballpoint pen drawings. He said, this is art. Then why do you want to paint? So it was Mr. House's reactions and questions that got me thinking and got, got me looking deep within myself and I realized I actually enjoyed sketching with a pen more than painting. So that's when I realized I want to become a ballpoint pen figurative visual artist that I am today. Well, this whole experience has told me that there are things in the society that are less appreciated, like art, but that doesn't make them any less important. Because through art, I get to raise my voice. I get to speak about things that I couldn't be able to speak if I was, let's say, a cop, a soldier, a doctor, nurse, or even a teacher. And many people, where I come from, they view artists as lost people with no sense of direction because of the way we tend to appear, the way we express our thoughts. So it's not usually easy for a person who is not raised around art to understand. I see many people living in other people's dreams because of the fear of being or acting different. The whole crowds that surround us or the whole crowd that we live in simply trains us to do certain things that are going to please them. And this crowd includes our parents, our relatives, our friends, our neighbors, and most of all, the education system. And this system is flawed. I'm especially referring to the education system that I grew up into. The education system that didn't encourage creativity. It simply provides a bunch of, a bunch of data with only one answer. And this system is very flawed because the same system that preaches that education Education is the key of life. Does not support children like me who have interest out of the curriculum system or the typical STEM field. But I am proof that it is possible to live a fulfilled life having a so-called different career. The career that is expre expressive and subjective rather than the one answer career which at the end of the day leaves many talented kids with the effect of confusion and feeling lost. Being different can be really scary because it requires a person to go out of the box that one is living in and experience completely new things. I remember thinking that my ballpoint pen artworks wouldn't sell because I didn't see anybody selling them. Everywhere I looked, artists were painting, but in a certain style that could easily sell. And my art was not like that, which scared me away from the style that I really enjoyed. It was not till I learned to, to depend on my creative instinct rather than the economic instinct like what Mr. Ausi once been pointed to me. When I made beautiful ballpoint pen artworks that brought me lots of success. I also discovered there are other ventures in art, a difference in different. A typical artist is imagined as a person wearing an apron, holding a brush, and stroking a canvas. My type of art was not like this, which made me feel scared to do it at that time. This artist is familiar and 
can easily sell. It opened a new world to me when I realized that art can be in so many forms. It can be interpretive dancing, poetry, photography, graffiti, installation art, or any other kind of contemporary art that is or yet to be discovered. Art is not just about the piece. It's about the dedication and the intent the artist has put into it. History has shown that people who acted different were viewed as strange and dangerous. Take Vincent van Gogh as an example. And the fact that the most celebrated artist today only sold one painting in his lifetime. And, for, and that for just 400 francs equals to $1,000 today. Some critics dismissed his works by saying it is amateur. Some even went far by saying that it is strange and feverish. Today, each one of Van Gogh's paintings is worth over $60 million. This makes me think that there are things that the society needs time to adapt, and it takes a few courageous people who can believe in so different things that they do and take a stand by them. I believe I will be remembered for doing art, creating different messages of change. This is different, but way much better than any cool career that I once thought of. And I believe everybody in this room can do great things by, doing, by daring to be different. Thank you.